Jeffries as Man Kirby, the ghostess with the mostess. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghosts as... Topper. Come right in, sir. Good morning, Topper. Oh. This is Mr. Van Horn. Uh, Van Horn, this is Mr. Topper, one of our vice presidents. How do you do? Mr. Topper. Uh, Van Horn here is uh, uh, an efficiency expert? A specialist in time and motion studies. Ah, yes. We're having a time and motion study in the bank. Uh, good idea, Topper? Uh, uh, yes, indeed, Mr. Scarlett. And, of course, as we must start somewhere, uh, you don't mind if uh, Mr. Van Horn begins with you? Uh, not at all. Uh, good. Well, I'll leave you two alone. I'll go right on with your work, Topper. Excuse me. Just assume that uh, I'm not here, Mr. Topper. Gladly. That is, uh, of course. What's that idiot doing with that stopwatch? I wish he'd stop watching me. Hmm? Uh, just adding a column. Oh, brother, this boy has got to go. George, you are so right. Mm. <clears throat> Second mortgages. Six seconds per mortgage. I'm going to file them. Uh, couldn't your um, file be a little closer to your desk, hmm? Shall we let him have it, Topper? No! Well, that uh, was only a suggestion. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. I'm going to sharpen a pencil. If you want speed, let's give him speed, Topper. I'll take that. How did you do that? Well, it's, uh... Venus pencil. No arms. <laughs> it's going to work, Topper. I'll file. Neil, you help me. <laughs> How are we doing, Topper? Neil, over here. Well, did you get the time on that? The most incredible system I ever saw. <laughs> Mr. Topper, how do you do it? I'll tell you. It's done by two very close friends of mine, George and Marion Kirby, and their dog, Neil. All three are ghosts, who can only be seen and heard by me. Any questions? No? Well, <laughs> time for lunch. Marion? George? I'll get my bag, Topper. Come on, Neil. <laughs> Genius, a mad, mad genius. <laughs> and a man clear to New Mexico to inspect your ranch? Of course we'd like to do it. Of course we appreciate your patronage. But who can I send? Uh, Miller's up to his ears, Deejay's up to his ears, and Topper is up. Well, don't you worry, don't you worry, Mrs. Oglethorpe. I think I can straighten this all out. <laughs> mm. Topper, you just stick with us, and we'll make you the hottest thing in banking since the, the Christmas savings plan. I don't want to be the hottest thing in banking. I don't care if I go bankrupt. All I want is a... Topper, what are you talking about? What's this bankrupt? Oh, I, I, uh, I was just writing a little song for the bankers' convention, Mr. Scarlet. I don't care if I'm bankrupt if I'm not overdrawn with you. <laughs> My God, how sweet. I see. I have Van Horn's report here, Topper. I, uh, I'd like to see this new uh, filing system that he raves about. Well, it's your man. I suppose that... Uh, uh, well, 
That went up by itself, just as if something blew it. Or the <laughs> uh, bank dropped. Stoppa, uh, the bank thinks it would be well for you to get some rest. Uh, get away from all the pressures for a few days. Just when things are rolling, not on your life. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Mr. Scott, I, I don't really feel the need. Now you take all the time you need. Don't worry about the bank. Your health is all we're concerned with. But, uh, I've never felt better. Complete rest, Upper. <clears throat> oh, uh, of course, if you, uh, insist on keeping your hand in... Yes? Just occurred to me, uh, one of our depositors has an income property in New Mexico she'd like us to inspect. Just occurred to him. Huh. It's a, a cattle ranch, Topper. Uh, just look it over, make sure it's under proper management, and, uh, well, just uh, turn it over in your mind, Topper. No dice. Start filing again, Marion. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, George Marion. George Marion, please. Uh, oh, <laughs> Uh, just, uh, wrestling with my conscience. Hmm. You better leave just as soon as you can, Topper. <laughs> now look here, you two. Oh, we're only doing it for you, Topper, darling. How do you like that hypocrite? He offers you a rest, then he, he wants to ship you off to New Mexico someplace. Yeah. If you don't mind, uh, I'm capable of making my own decisions. Uh, I've never been to New Mexico. Say, George, it might not be such a bad idea as that. A real cattle ranch in the Wild West. Yeah, might be all right. I never ran a cattle ranch before. Just a simple inspection. I can handle it myself. Oh, Topper, you mean we're going? Uh, I said no such thing. Now, man, and stop that. Topper Pod, at a time like this, a man calls on his friends. That's what friends are for. Topper Pod, we'll be a making that trip with you. Or uh, my name ain't Calamity Marion. What? Come on, George, let's go out and round up the boys. Come on. <laughs> Out of here. You too. George, Marion, this is one time you're not going along. you landed me enough trouble. And although I'm very fond of you both, I'm... Marion, George, are you listening to me? George, Ma... What? Uh, I was just uh, practicing calling doggies for when I get out on the ranch. Fired. You like some Cosmos? Hmm? What are they? Shaps. Shaps? For those long days in the saddle. Saddle? On my cow pony, Cosmo. You think they'll fit? Your cow pony? <laughs> no. Me, silly. Well, do you have anything suitable to wear? Why, I think what I have will do nicely. Oh, really, Cosmo. I don't think you've got the spirit of the old West. Well, I have a lot of packing to do. I wonder if it gets cold enough there for my mink coat. Well, nothing like roughing it, dear. <laughs> Reach for the sky, stranger. George, put that thing away. It makes me nervous. Just give us your dust, hombre. Peaceable life. Yeah, peaceable life. Oh, would you mind telling me where you two think you're going? Out to our spread in New Mexico, partner. You can't run no ranch without tall in the saddle, Kirby. Perhaps not, but I have every intention of trying. Oh, Toppy, you don't love us anymore. That has nothing to do with it, Marion. This is a matter of business. And I... Cosmo, will you come help me with his trunk? I'll discuss this with you further. What's to discuss? I'm coming, dear. Oh. What is it, George? Well, it's a good thing I caught this. Topper's letter to the ranch foreman. No, this will never do. Oh, what does it say? Well, it's banker's language. Please be advised, we'll arrive so and so and so and so and so. Oh, no, 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 this is very weak. Why? Why? You can't talk to no cowboy that way. Well, he won't work for you unless you can outride him, outshoot him, and outfight him. Well, that leaves Topper out. Yeah. Well, we'll have to build him up, that's all. George. Darling, it's the least we can do. Well. Now get this, you saddle tramps.
think that's strong enough? And if you got any hands in the bunkhouse who can't ride sun up to sundown on a canteen of water and a can of beans, tell them to have their saddle blankets rolled and ready. Saint Cosmo the dude topper. <laughs> Golly, how about that? I quit. Oh, no. No, I'm foreman. I get to quit first. Uh, let's face it, Dave. Our wives wouldn't let us. I guess not. But Cosmo, the dude topper. Well, at least it should be interesting. So, he wants to play Roy Rogers, does he? Okay, we can play too. Get the boys, Charlie. Hey, that's good dialogue, Dave. Shall I, uh, shall I hit him off at the pass? <laughs> Expecting a bit too much. Like Cosmo. Uh, I mean, uh, I expect it would be too much for me, dear. Uh, momentarily. Spoken like a true son of the West, Topper. Mr. Topper? Yes. Dave Hutchins. How do you do? Foreman of the Bar M. You got my letter then? We got it all right. Uh, oh, this is Mr. Hudgens, dear. This is Mrs. Topper. How do you do, Mr. Hudgens? And my assistant, Charlie Bartell. Very happy to know you. A couple of shady-looking varmints. Well, shall we get started? Right this way. Their eyes are awful close together. I think they're in with the rustlers. You let them know right away who's boss, Topper. They'll find out soon enough. Henrietta. Find out what, Cosmo? Uh, I haven't found out yet, dear. Uh, right over here, Mr. Topper. Oh. Mr. Topper, it's all yours. Uh, well, what do I do with him? Well, from your letter, we knew you'd want a ride. Remarkable deduction. It's only a 20-mile gallop. This is a showdown, Topper. They're just trying to make you lose face. It's not my face I'm worried about. <laughs> Big one. I, uh, I see uh, he's got a nice face. For a horse, I mean. Shall we give you a leg up? I don't think it'll be necessary. You're darn right it won't. We're calling their bluff. Come on, Mary. Wait a minute. George, Marion. <laughs> the Eastern Sound Mountain. Don't worry, Copper Old Pard. We got you. <laughs> One of my lesser accomplishments, dear. Uh, I'll see you in the bunkhouse, hombres. <laughs> well, I must say the old boy has courage. He sure stayed on that horse. Hey, you did a good job of holding him on, dear. Yes, I said. I wasn't holding him on. I thought you were holding him on. <gasps> George. Topper's on that horse alone. Here, Neil. Neil. After him, Neil, there's rescue work to be done. <laughs> there's nothing like this Western living to give you an appetite. 
Why don't you sit down, Topper? I'm quite comfortable here, thank you. Oh, poor Toppy. Well worth it, though. He won a great victory yesterday. One more victory like that and I'm undone. But the important thing is you won the respect of the men. George, do you mind? Morning, Cosmo. Good morning, dear. Have a good night. Well, it says I just stood it. Uh, well, I suppose you'll be out with the men all day, roping, shooting, riding. Oh, I can't remember, dear. I should spend the day with a pencil, going over the accounts, sitting in a swivel chair, if possible. Well, you know best, dear. But after the way you surprised us all yesterday with your riding, I was hoping to see you show the men how to do their work. Well, I dare say I could show them in one or two tricks, Henrietta. Yeah, he taught us a couple. Good morning, Mr. Tarver. Oh, Mr. Tarver. Good morning, Mr. Hudgens. Good morning, Hudgens. You've got the ledgers, I see. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You'll find the inventory listed right here. I see you list 10,000 head of cattle. Just the heads? I, uh, I thought we could go over those later, Mr. Tarver. Why not now? The men are all waiting for you outside. They are? Why are they waiting? They heard the bank send out a top hand. They want to see you handle a rope and a gun. What? No, no, no. I shall be busy all day with a pencil. 500 tons of Timothy Hay at... Copper, you've got to go. They'll laugh you right off the ranch. No. No what? Uh, uh, no time now. Oh, come on. You want them to put you down as a sheep herder? We'll help you, Topper. No. <laughs> Let go. Let go. Let go. I'm not even touching you. I mean, uh, let's go. We can't keep the boys waiting, can we? Charlie here is our best hand with a gun, Mr. Topper. Oh, would you like to um, match draws? Well, a uh, minor polka dot with an elastic... Um... Draws, Topper. Oh, oh, of course. Show him, Charlie. Oh, well, it's quite good. Yes, yeah, not here. Quite... Hmm? Just uh, put this on. What? No, no but uh, really, I... Uh... Ready? Uh, he out Roger. I never even saw his hand move. Nice boy. Well, my uh, arthritis slowed me up a bit. Oh, yeah? Charlie, show me a trick shot. Yeah. Barney, set up a silver dollar on the fence there. Step over here, Mr. Robert. You think you can hit that? Hit what? A silver dollar on the fence. What fence? Better get down there, George. Okay. Quite remarkable. He hasn't done the trick yet. Uh, oh. How do you like that? Uh, oh, very much. You think you can top it? Me? Sure you can, Topper. I'll help you. Barney, set up another dollar. Draw, Mr. Topper. I'll give the twirl, Topper. <laughs> I swear the gun did all that by itself. But uh, uh, suddenly, uh, it's an automatic. <laughs> Stand back, please. Stand by, George. <laughs> He knocked the dollar down. You you pointed the wrong way, and still the dollar went down. Well, uh, a dollar doesn't stand up like it used to. Let's show it's a real shooting dollar. this guy Topper, Charlie. He made a monkey out of me in front of my own men. Oh, I'd lay off him, Dave. He's poison. Sure, he's fancy with a rope and a gun, but how would he be at bringing in a bad man? Mm, bad men are pretty scarce these days, Dave. Now, look. One of the boys from here goes into town. 
pretends to get loaded and threatens to shoot up the tavern. Do you think Topper's going after him? Yes. Well, you're wrong. So that's the pitch, huh? Come on, we'll get things set up and I'll prove it to you. I still say I'd lay off him, Dave. He is pure poison. <laughs> Here comes the plot, Topper. Trouble in town, Mr. Topper. The marshal's away hunting, and some crazy cowhands are tearing up the cafe. It's ranch property, sir. Don't worry, Topper. It's only Shifty the cook. What do we do, Mr. Topper? Oh, the beast of all, right in the middle of a good hand. Cosmo, where are you going? Don't worry, dear. I'll be right back. We'll get saddled up pronto. Oh, you needn't come. I'll handle it alone. You're going to stop a riot alone? Well, there's only one riot, isn't there? Cosmo, I absolutely forbid you to go. Men's work, Henry Dunn. Not the slightest danger. Well said, Topper. Let's go. Wait for me. You never turned a hair. The coolest thing since Billy the Kid. They're in there, all right. Are you sure you want to go in there, Mr. Topper? It might be dangerous. My dear fellow, what isn't? Let me take a look. Dave. Come here. What's the matter? Matter? There's a total stranger in there. I've never seen him before. You mean it's for real? I hope to tell you it's for real. <laughs> Look at him. Won't they be surprised when Topper goes in there and mops up with that fake bad man of theirs? And I don't know what happened to Shifty. <laughs> I'm on the level, Richard Topper. You well, can't go in there. Well, do you mind? Uh, I've got to get back to my double solitaire. Mr. Topper, please. I I'll be right out. I wonder if he will need us, George. <laughs> Sorry, Shifty, old boy. The joke's over. Who are you? Well, well never mind who I am. Who, who are you? Come to take me in, huh? You're, you're not from the Bar M. I hate the Bar M. George. Marion. Marion, George. Why well, call your friend? You got a gun, I got a gun, we just shoot it out. I can't. I haven't got my gun. I'll just put my gun on the bar. Well, well, yes, that's that's much more friendly. Now, when I count three, we reach. George, Marion. Oh, shut up. One. Marion. George, I need you. You won't need him long. Two. Answer me. I just did. Three. Thought you might need us, Topper. George. Better hit him, Topper. Fine, but what with? Here's the gun. Harder. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. You saw everything in the doors, Mr. Topper. I take back everything I ever thought of you. You were magnificent. Great. What courage, did it? Well, you, thanks. You didn't even have to use the gun. Terrific. Let's go get the marshal, boys. All in a night's work. Hi, partner. How about one for the road? Anything you say, Tex. Right, then, up. Name me a pie, some stranger. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.